All right, folks, we're going to look at some major plays here for this week to get started. Let's dig into Tesla. Look at the Tesla stock price prediction based on the technicals. And I have been giving it to you way ahead of time. And it's doing exactly what I've been telling you. And now we're going to see where it goes from here. Also, big news for Apple out there. The charts are telling us one thing, but the, the major whales out there are telling us something completely different. And I'm talking about Warren Buffett. You guys know I've covered him over the last few videos. And I want to get into specifics here and show you exactly what's happening. We got a lot to go over. This is going to be an interesting week. And we're getting to the point that something either is going to absolutely crack and, and just be horrible. Or we finally, finally start this recovery that I think we're going to have. I th I'm actually more bullish than bearish. But I also have been in the business so long I know it could go either way. And so we're going to dig into a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, and, you know, I always say, watch what they do, not what they say. And, man, if you've been watching Warren Buffett out there, he has been making moves. And I, if you haven't watched the last couple of videos I've done, you're going to want to pay attention to him. It is crazy out there lately. Uh, now, for those who haven't joined the StockMo Patreon, the link is down below. Please join. You can see people in there working as I speak right now. The bot is live. This is my personal bot that we made this. This has my strategies. It comes in. You can put it in. It gives you somebody just pulled up. Uh, there you go. And you can see uh, we got right here. It gives you the nice bullish sign. There you go. It moves higher. You get a little bearish sign. And you can see we eventually do clip down there. And you have the breaking of the Bollinger Band here. So you got a little bit of both on this one. You got to be careful. Uh, you got the green from the breaking of the Bollinger Band. The red showing you the gap. And, of course, you get a nice signal right here on the 50, which ends up paying off nicely triple greens which has been moving up nicely so this thing is absolutely next level so if you haven't joined the patreon get in there you'll get access to that and the golden sweeps the regular sweeps the the ai bot i mean it gives you the confidence interval it is incredible spits out the place throughout the day so that's something you can do now let's, let's dig into it i, I came here to talk stocks i kind of want to show you this we're going to start with tesla and let's be honest, I told you exactly what to expect, what had to happen for Tesla to run to 240, even up to 300. Uh, the first thing I said is when we were here, and I did this here, I, I told you, if you go back and look at my videos on this day around here, I said, if we cannot break 200 and confirm, you are going to run back down and you're going to hit the 50, and that's going to be around 50 EMA, around 175. I said, if we confirm below 175, we are heading to 163, 153 zone. And if we confirm below the 153 zone, you are heading back down to 140. If you confirm at 140, you're heading back down to 100. And that is ugly. And so we're not there yet. There's a lot of, a lot of places that this can catch nice support. Uh, one of them was the 50. We failed. Uh, you broke down below the 50 on Wednesday. And, of course, it started down, pushed up, next day back down, confirmed lower, below the 50. Five just crossed below the 50. It is just plain ugly for the 50 uh, EMA. And so we, we are now going back down into the Goldilocks zone. Now, at this point, people ask me, where do you expect me to go? 161 is where I expect to hit. This is the next line of support that I see. If you fail on that one, you're going back down to 151. And this is where I've been telling you before, Elon's giving you good news about the future, but the truth is it's still going to be ugly for the next few quarters. So I think a lot of the, the whales were selling as retail was buying on that news. And they, they sold, they, they, and they'll buy back in at a lower price. And that's one of the things you got to watch for. And of course, uh, we are back down to 168.47. I always look at it, you know, because Kathy Wood is a big supporter of Tesla. And we know she buys when she sees that value. I didn't see her buying. You guys can let me know if she was buying over the last week. Uh, did not see that. And, of course, she has a huge position in Tesla. So I'm not saying she has to run out and buy again. But it's always a, it's an interesting sign when you got the whales out there buying. And that gives you a little bit more, hey, they got a huge, massive, massive research team. They got the algorithms working for them. They got everything going on. And it's interesting. It's interesting. And you know what? And I also want to say this. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. Everyone that made it out there. You guys 
all the moms out there, happy Mother's Day. Uh, you know, it's a tough job. It's hard to do. So my hat's off to you. And, of course, uh, this day, you know, get spoiled today. Get spoiled. Have the kiddos spoil you. Maybe make dinner. I don't know. My kids are breaking down cardboard boxes for uh, their mom right now, and, and they're going to go get pick up dinner for us. So I feel like I get a little bit of a, a side benefit here from uh, from Mother's Day. So, I, you know. You know how it works. I, we did all kinds of nice things so far. But happy Mother's Day. Now, all right, I talk about, I just brought up basically what Kathy would with Tesla and all that and the Tesla stock price prediction. Now, I didn't give you the bullish side of this. I gave you the bearish side. And it is bearish right now. I'll tell you this. If we pulled up, let's pull up, um, let's pull up right here. Let's pull up my chart. Let's see if we got the indicator for Tesla. And we'll put in uh, right there, click on it, stock mo indicator, Tesla. So I'm going to guess we're going to get a red signal. The red signal should not be discounted. This bot is fire. And there it is. Uh, just happened. All right, so that's bad news, family. And if you see crisscrosses like this, you always go with the latest one. And so we had a nice bullish action, gave you the sign before the pop. It gave it to you, and you got it. So if you followed it, you made money as long as you took profit. And you're still up money even here. Uh, and, and so anyways, here's the bearish signal, and I'm telling you right now, once in a while you get a crisscross, but if you go with the latest, listen right here, you get the sell off. And of course, this one gave you the spot, up it goes. I should say the bit bullish, and then we come down, and now you got the bearish. So people ask me, are you bearish or bullish? My indicator, and I go with my indicator, it's bearish right now. And I told you guys at 199, I, I, uh, you know, 175 is going to be the key. If you go below 175, it's going down. And I told you I wouldn't make a decision until we saw 200 confirmed or 175. 175 has now been confirmed. I'm officially bearish again. And as you guys know, we'll see how this thing goes. Uh, they absolutely missed on their earnings, but they had a great forward-looking revision, if you will, in terms of where they're seeing things go. So something to consider. Now, the other thing I wanted to bring up, Apple. Apple. Remember what I just told you. Go, and we'll pull up Apple right here before I get out of here. Let's take a look at Apple. Hit the indicator, uh, and um, let's make sure we get that right here. And bear with me, family. Layout. There we go. I got it right now. Uh, and we'll put in AAP. There we go. So the indicator goes out, pulls in the information, and this thing. And you guys get access to my portfolio, my buys and sells, the small account challenge, and I put a free portfolio for you to use in here. All right. Very, very bullish here. That was a couple weeks ago absolutely ran like it should we had a major bearish pop here did it drop yes it did but we just got a resurgence of bullishness right here and is it going up it is and now it's kind of meandering sideways which we know anytime we break the bollinger band we get three to four sometimes five to six days before it will continue i am in the i will say this right now i am not going to be surprised if this hits the 50 bounces off the 50 and runs now i'm going to show you the chart on this because I called this absolutely perfectly. And I did this all the way back here. I said, I expect this to run up, down, then back up, touch the 50, and off it goes. So, and we called this way back here. Look, it almost hit it perfect. All right, the only thing is that uh, as it came back down, I was off a day or two. And then it came back up, I was off two days. Uh, and now, coming down, I'm going to be off a couple of days. And it might not come down to the 50. It might just go five to six days sideways, consolidate, and then run. And I'm not sure on that, but overall, I expect it to retest right here. So people ask me, where do you see Apple going in the near future? 200. I think it hits 200 this year. I think we're at least, we'll get up to 198. Uh, so that's one of the things I'm looking at when it comes to Apple, but I am nervous about Apple. And I only say this because, look, you don't go up and get into a boxing ring with Mike Tyson and expect to be better than him. All right, it just doesn't happen. So that analogy, why'd you bring that up, Mo? Because I don't expect to get in and go against what Warren Buffett's doing and better him. So he has trimmed 13% of his Apple position in the first quarter. Do not be surprised if he continues to trim it. And once he starts to sell, I've, I've seen it before, he continues to sell. Uh, he it, it was 40 over 40 percent now it's 39 point something I think uh, I got it right here 39.5 percent so you know I don't know he says 
think paying taxes now on the massive capital gain for is a smart move for Berkshire. Listen, we're paying 21% federal on gains. We're taking at that rate 35 in the past. He believes taxes go higher. Well, here's the deal. I, I, I heard people bring this up. He's taking a tax hit now because he thinks there's a good chance taxes will go higher. Look, that's an excuse. That's an excuse. You don't sell a stock if it's going to continue to make money, especially if you, you don't even know if taxes are going higher. And even if they do go higher, you're given time to make the moves ahead of time. In other words, you don't have to sell today because something might happen in a few years. You can just continue to hold and make money. So I had people bring this up and I said, are the taxes going up? No, they might though. He didn't have to sell. He's telling people, look, hey, I'm selling out because taxes would be high, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. That, that's, that's, a, that's a cop out to me. That, that's saying, you know, hey, you, you could wait and hold this and sell it down the road before the tax is raised. If you hear they, they're debating a bill, they're going to raise taxes, you have until this day to make any moves before the taxes change, then he could have. But he chose today. He chose now. Why would you choose now? What's going on out there? And you can see, uh, I told you, uh, he did that in Q1. Why? Remember, Q1 was January up to March. So you can see January. And we get right here. And look where we were, 190-something. He sold all the way down through March. And right now we're down to 160. He sold all the way through. It finally dropped really bad all the way through March. And so, yeah, he kept taking hits and hits and hits, and it lost a lot of money. And then all of a sudden... We now have a reversal. So what he did during the first three months, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But I actually think we have a solid reversal on our hands right now and that we are going to bounce up and at least test 198. So I'm going to go against what he's doing right now and, and, and tell you that I think there's room for Apple to run up to two, around 200. All right, now that's the update. These are some of the best stocks to buy now in terms of Apple being bullish, but... I do believe Tesla is bearish. All right. Now, if you haven't done it, get over to my course, or I should say get over to my Patreon. Sign up down below. It's the first link below. And for those that did not get into my course yet, you're running out of time to use code cash to save 300 off of this. This is a huge amount you will save. Uh, get over there. Click on the link down below for the course to get lifetime access to the course and the course discord. And we did add the bread bot over there as well. And like I said, the, if you haven't gotten a free shares from Moomoo Moo down below as well, put $100 in, you will get 10 free shares of Moomoo. Moo. All right, it's not of Moomoo. Moo. Of, uh, you get the Fantastic Seven, the Magnificent Seven. There it is. You get 50 bucks worth of stocks, basically. So you get 50% on your money instantly. Do that on your $100 deposit. Use my link down below. And for Canada, you're in. Canada, I got a link for you as well. You get up to $2,400, depending on what you do take advantage of this as well. So all kinds of good things from Moomoo. I'm still doing my small account challenge. I ask you to join me. So you just sign up for your Moomoo account, get that all set up, put your hundred bucks in there. And I, I release my plays. All I ask you to do, put five to $10 in stocks daily because they have fractional shares now. You have to have what's known as a universal account. So if you haven't gotten your fractional shares, you write customer service, tell them you want to upgrade to a universal account, and then you can do that. All right, family, that's what I got for you today. Happy Mother's Day again. Now let's get out there and make some money.